traditionally in GNS3, if you want a very lightweight PC in your topologies, you would use VPCS. But there's actually a better way. Consider using Alpine Linux in your GNS3 topologies. If you want a small, robust, a lightweight a Linux distribution or simply a very lightweight PC to use in large GNS3 topologies, Alpine Linux is a great choice. Alpine Linux is a full-blown Linux distribution, but it's smaller than 5 megabytes in size. It's a tiny, a lightweight Linux distribution that you can run in GNS3 topologies without a large overhead. Why run a virtual machine that's 500 meg or 1 gig in size when you can run a Linux operating system using less than 5 meg and thus conserve both disk space and RAM on your computer? In this video, I'm going to show you how to download, install, and configure Alpine Linux and use it to add many host devices to your GNS3 topologies. In this video, I'm using GNS3 version 2.1 beta 1 on a Mac. The process that I'm going to demonstrate is also supported in GNS3 version 2.0. To get started, go to gns3.com, go to the marketplace, select appliances, and search for Alpine Linux. Select the appliance and click download template. In GNS3, go to File, Import Appliance. Select the Alpine Linux appliance and click open. An overview of the appliance is displayed. Click Next. On Windows and a Mac, we need to run the appliance on the GNS3 VM. So that's what I'm going to do. And I'm going to click Next. The console type used is Telnet. There will be one network adapter. Click Next. And that's it. Click Finish to add the appliance to GNS3 and click OK. Under End Devices, select Alpine Linux and drag it to the workspace. It's a very small image. Notice it's 1.99 megabytes in size. So it installs very quickly. In this example, I'll drag an Ethernet switch to the workspace and run it on the GNS3 VM. So I've got a very simple topology of one Alpine Linux host and one switch, and I'll connect the host to the switch. And I'll start it up and open up a console. So here's the Alpine Linux host. ifconfig shows us that we don't have an IP address configured. So what I'll do is use vi to edit Etsy network interfaces. I'm going to enable DHCP, write the file, and then quit. So cat Etsy network interfaces shows us that DHCP has been enabled. What I'm going to do now is bring a NAT cloud into the topology. I'm doing that to provide IP addresses to the host device and also provide internet connectivity. So I'll turn off the Alpine Linux host. Start it up again and open up a console. Here's the new console window. Notice it's obtained an IP address via DHCP. So ifconfig shows us the IP address obtained. Route-n or dash n shows us that we've got a default gateway configured. And at this point, we should be able to ping google.com, which we can. We should also be able to ping other websites such as cisco.com, which we can. So it was as simple as that to get a Linux host integrated into our GNS3 topology. 
I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please like it and please subscribe to my YouTube channel. I want to wish you all the very best.